very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new strategy video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking uh, actually I decided that we had a lot of videos talking about the 20 pips a day strategy and the hit and run I believe now it's the final time we can finally move to the new strategy I have and actually I'm using this strategy since long time it's bringing a lot of profits However, uh, the problem with this one that it is not valid all the time. It is only valid in a very specific time and I'm going to explain it to you in this video. The other thing is um, it's limiting our trade options. I mean, when we are scalping using the 20 pips a day or hit and run, we can check so many different uh, pairs and find setups. However, this strategy works only with gold. Let me add this one here works only on gold so this strategy can work only when you are trading the uh, gold pair and you cannot really use use it on the other pairs there is a good reason for that and i will explain it later so scalping gold on the one minute strategy rules first of all the first thing we need to do in this strategy is we will check first thing when we are starting the session we need to check our level on the four hour chart or one hour chart whichever good for you you can choose any one of these two time frames to select that this time i'm gonna scalp for sell or i'm gonna scalp for buy of course no need to mention when you are on a support level when you are on a support level that means we need to look for setups of buy when we are on a resistance level we need to look for a setups for the sell now let's move on and read more of the rules we enter only the first attempt of a support or a resistance <clears throat> that means when you open the chart on the one minute time frame we on the gold pair we will look only to enter the first attempt meaning we will look let me just uh, show it to you <coughs> that means when we are having a resistance that's climbing up like that and it's creating the resistance so we can have here a resistance at the top of this uh, peak here we will wait for this resistance to finally be breaking out and then waiting also for this resistance to right now become the new support so that's the second rule we will only wait to enter the first attempt when this resistance become a support or also of course vice versa we will wait to see a support level right here like that then we will wait for the support to be breaking out then we will enter sell order only at the first attempt when this previous support become a resistance like that so this is exactly where I'm gonna place my sell all right so that's one part we have explained of course don't worry we will go to the chart and i'm going to explain in brief how to use this strategy let's move on now the thing here i wanted to say the third rule for this strategy is we can close with the loss only if you see a breakout candle breaking out from the support or resistance <clears throat> now let me explain to you something here uh, the thing here uh, by the way just to make, it, to make it clear, this is demo account. That is not my live account. This is only demo account. I'm, I'm using uh, in this video to explain to you about the strategy. And then in the next video, I'm gonna do, or actually in the next videos, I'm gonna, st I'm, I'm, I will go, I'm gonna start doing some live trading using this strategy. Of course, for teaching purposes, I'm going to use today a demo account just to make it clear <coughs> so in this strategy since we're gonna use the one minute time frame we are when we will decide that this trade is gonna be uh, closed with the loss only when we are seeing a breakout candle from the support or resistance for example let's say that I am on the support level and I place my buy order right here therefore um, we can see that the candle has reached this level and then if the market is gonna go against me like that and look at that this candle here this bearish candle has broken out from the support level once I see this candle I will close this trade with the loss immediately without waiting any any more time 
<clears throat> don't worry guys all of that will be explained in brief when we are to start to explain this strategy sorry when we to, when, when we start to explain this strategy in metatrader now the target for this strategy for each trade to aim between 8 to 12 pips per trade of course that is equal to the loss as well so the winning ratio for this strategy per trade is 50 percent uh, i mean the, the win to lose the ratio because we, we are looking for uh, good setups and with this strategy i can tell you that we can look for almost 75 percent of winning trades each one will has either between 8 to 12 uh, win trades or winning trades or loss trades so it should be fair uh, most of the strategy sorry most of the trades hopefully will be in profit now the most important rule here actually i should highlight this in red uh, because it's very important let me just mark this in red now this strategy with the gold is only valid in the morning time from 8 a.m. until uh, 8 a.m. GMT time and then from 1 p.m. until 6 p.m. GMT time the reason for that timing is we want to avoid actually the collapse between the opening of the US and UK market or London uh, market sessions also we want to avoid all the times of the news uh, during these times most likely there will be no news uh, of course even so we always have to keep our eyes on the news especially the news about the dollar the USD dollar it is affecting the gold way too much also the news about the oil or other commodities actually it might affect the, the gold therefore these times are usual uh, usually they are idle the market is idle and usually there are no high impact news affecting it at these times uh, always please be careful when you are trading uh, with the gold because the timing is very very important look at that i will explain to you that later but you can see that one small reversal happened very quickly has gotten 10 pips in one second anyway let's continue avoid london opening market hours as i just said now avoid high volatility market meaning avoid trading when the market is in high volatility mode if there is uh, a lot of um, candles moving very fast if there is like for example uh, the u.s elections for presidency if there is uh, anything that can actually affect the market anything like such as the coronavirus news all of these things you need to avoid when you are trading with this strategy and of course avoid the high impact news time now the last one actually almost the last one it's the very important thing to download the cctr indicator to know how much time left for the candle to close this is right here the cctr indicator this one right here you can find uh, this file in the description or below this video uh, just open the description and you will find one link to download this indicator just install it in your metatrader 4 i have a video explained in brief how to install it as uh, as well and we need this indicator because we need to know how much time left for each candle to close that's very important it is one of the most important rules actually in this strategy and the last thing here price action is not important <clears throat> except of course for the breakout candles what does that mean it means that when you are trading on the one minute time frame it doesn't really matter at all what price action you are seeing on these candles it doesn't matter if we are seeing a lot of wicks uh, if i see a pin bar it doesn't really matter if i see any candle indicating a reversal uh, that's really doesn't apply being applied on the one minute time frame the only price action that actually valid on the one minute time frame is the breakout candle for example if you place your buy order right on the support level then you see this candle here appeared this bearish breakout candle this one is actually important and we are considering this as uh, a breakout candle therefore if you place your buy order here then close the trade immediately with the loss right after you see the scandal appeared that is the only price action we need to look for now of course works only on gold let me explain to you the reason gold is actually moving in very high volatility use most of the time and what we can notice here that the gold is moving in in uh, ranging uh, directions for example 
the market when it went down like this in downtrend we always had a lot of pullbacks these pullbacks actually gonna help us to earn money while actually buying or selling look at this the gold can never go in one way look at that for example we're having here downtrend but the gold is ranging way too much that's a lot of rangings and I'm gonna sure to earn profit from all of these movements look at that as well we can see that here we have uh, this resistance but imagine how many buy orders we could have placed on this resistance this uh, th there was so many buy orders that we could have placed by look for example here from this uh, candle here to this candle here that is 36 pips that's the reason this strategy works only with the gold of course the other reason <clears throat> is one small candle one one very quick candle can give you a lot of profit check out this one for example now we can see that we had here this um, if I want to place my buy order right here for example look at this candle the blue one let's see how many pips this candle was giving us check it out 15 or almost actually 16 pips of, pro uh, of profit has been given only from that candle that's what I'm talking about therefore what we are going to do right now let me just show you this the first thing when we want to start trading with this strategy is using a proper lot size because please remember there will be some losses now of course from a five thousand dollars account which is demo again I'm telling you it is my demo account only for teaching purposes uh, I'm gonna use one lot size it should be fine actually compared to this uh, five thousand dollars account now what do we need to do actually to start trading first thing of all as I said the price action doesn't really matter at all so the first thing you want to do is switch to the four hour chart just see your level where are you right now let's just get rid of this one so looking at the four hour chart where do you see yourself in the market right now hmm. let's look we can see that we had here a previous resistance and right now this previous resistance has been broken out by this uh, bullish breakout candle and the market now is becoming a previous support sorry not a previous it's becoming now a support however looking at the current level the market right now here the candle is here meaning that now we are on a resistance because the support this is the resistance it has it has become a support and right now this level here is a resistance which was previously a support so right now we are actually on a resistance level now go back to the one minute time frame now we need to look for orders of sell don't buy right now at all only look for the opportunities to start sell the market let me just get rid of this one okay so now after being after move to the four hour chart and find that I am on a sub on a resistance level and I need to look for uh, sell orders what I will do is now move to the one minute time frame and again right now the price action doesn't matter then what I will do right now is zoom out to the maximum now by zooming out to the maximum it's giving me really good spot now to see where are the strong support and the resistance levels so looking here right now we can see that I had here a previous support level look at that we can see that here we had a support it was also a support in the past and it was here also a support then we can see that here we are having a bullish breakout candle there is one problem I said we are on a resistance level meaning what we are looking for is opportunities for the sell don't start buying the market right now we just want to look for opportunities for sell so I'm just trying to tell you here that we cannot just enter any support or resistance you are seeing so now what is the thing to do to do yes Salah okay move this line right now on this previous support look at that look at that the market right now is falling it's falling below this support level so we're having here a support level which is being breaking out and I'm expecting now from the market to actually reverse and go up here retest this broken uh, previous support and then gonna continue the fall therefore I'm gonna place my sell order right after the scandal 
go up here for actually 10 pips and then if it's gonna retest this level I'm gonna place my sell order so let's see what will gonna happen now again this strategy works only with the gold because the gold candles are moving very fast look at that the the bearish momentum here the bearish momentum is very fast actually it's very strong and the candle is moving down very fast it's moving down quickly so I'm just waiting for the for the reversal to happen see that's why I told you don't place your buy order right on this previous support here as I mentioned to you it's very very important to look at the four hour chart and the one hour chart just to know your level in the market to know if you should look for buy or sell look at that the bearish momentum is very strong so what I'm going to do right now is I want to go along with it I need to swim with the flow therefore I'm just waiting for the best opportunities to start selling the gold don't start selling right now because actually the market is uh, almost 16 pips away from my entry point the best entry point you can have right now in this strategy or in this scenario is wait for the market to make a pullback after hitting uh, these support levels right here you have to be patient you have to be patient and wait for the right moment to start shorting the market so what we are having here is a previous support as I said in the strategy rules go back to the rules please take a take a picture this is very important we enter only the first attempt of a support or resistance meaning what we are going to do right now is entering only the first attempt when the previous resistance right here for example this resistance after being a support is gonna be again a support right here it's gonna be a resistance so this is gonna be the first attempt of this previous resistance and as I said we are having here a previous support level so this support is gonna be a new resistance that is your first attempt of the resistance look at that as I said the market is moving very fast and the candle is going up quickly and I think it's very soon we can start shorting the gold to earn uh, some profit from this uh, from this trade I'm just waiting for the right moment to place my my sell order I just want to show you the perfect moment to place your sell order just waiting right now sell like that actually maybe I should have mentioned that it's actually very important very important to use I see markets in this strategy uh, this is up to you because actually I'm using IC markets there because they are having very low spread size uh, for the gold and for the, for the other currencies therefore look at that it's very helping it's very helpful to actually uh, use this uh, broker look at that now the candle is reversing now it's very important to tell you where you should exit your trade with the profit now go back to the rules we are aiming between 8 to 12 pips per trade now you have two options you can either close this trade with the mentioned profit look at that 8 pips close it good profit has been made from this uh, trade and also you can keep your trade running until it hit the nearest support which is laying right here however I just had to set a, a, a target of profit that we should always stick to it between 8 to 12 pips per trade and you can fix the same to the loss now let me show you example where actually the trade is gonna be in loss um, I just want to show you example hopefully I just want to lose the trade right now I just I don't know if I will lose it right now here uh, let me try to place buy here I think the market is gonna continue moving down I am just I just placed uh, the buy order randomly <laughs> it's giving me profit I really don't want that I just want to lose the trade so I can show you how we can deal with the loss uh, let me just place both both of them buy and sell so it, either one of them will be useful to explain to you how we can handle the losses so since this is one minute time frame I think it's gonna be uh, uh, valid and very quickly no need to pause the video 
I'm just waiting to see what will gonna happen. I think we can expect from the market to continue going more down. But look at that. Actually, setting my target to be eight to twelve pips is very helpful. Look at that. After placing my sell here and earn these eight pips, the market now seems to be going up again. That's why uh, the the real power of this strategy is to actually aim uh, the quick move or or the bouncing of the candles let me now close the order of the, uh, the buy look at that right now this is very important guys pay attention we placed the sell order right here correct now look at that this candle is above my entry level it's above this resistance now here's co here comes the important rule of or sorry the important part of this indicator this indicator telling me that there is still 21 seconds left for this candles lifetime now, what is the trick here? The trick here is you have to wait for this candle to close as a full bullish breakout candle. And if it does like that, you will close this trade with the loss. So far, the candle still did not close. We still have two seconds, one second. Look at that. Right now, the candle has closed like that. So I will not close this trade with the loss yet. Look now at the next candle. Now, let's keep our eyes on this candle. If this candle which is still have 46 seconds for the closure. If this candle gonna close as a breakout candle again, I'm gonna close this trade with loss. So far, the candle is still ranging. Look at it. The candle is still trying to go up, sorry, to go down. What we can see here is, as I, as I just mentioned to you, we had a previous support, which is now becoming a new resistance. So without seeing a bullish breakout candle, I'm not going to close this trade with the loss yet. The candle still has 13 minutes, 10, uh, sorry, uh, 9 seconds, uh, 6 seconds. Look at that. It seems like it's going to close as a bullish candle. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. You see? Do you see that? Perfect. It closed as a full bullish candle. Therefore, what you should do right now is close this trade with the loss. I just want you to stick very strictly to this be very strict for to the strategy please don't try to be smarter than the market don't think that the market may be now gonna fall down if you keep doing that you will end up wiping your account and actually have a huge loss compared to the small profit look at that the candle is still going up now what happened is very simple you had here a previous support and this support now after this bullish breakout candle is trying to be a new support as well. So it's keeping its position as a support. Therefore, I decided to close this trade with the loss only after seeing this bullish breakout candle. Now, let's take a look. We can still continue trading actually. Look at that. The market is still going up. Uh, thankfully, closing the trade very early has saved us from uh, getting uh, big losses. Now, let's look at the left. Continue. Zoom out. Let's look at the left. We can see that we have a resistance. Sorry, I had to place it very quickly. Look at that. We have here a previous resistance. And it is now the first attempt for this resistance to become the new resistance. Look at that. Here, we didn't have any previous resistance. This is the first attempt of this resistance to become the new resistance right here. So this resistance is keeping its position as a resistance that's why i have placed my sell order right here now the stop loss is going to be decided if i see again another bullish breakout candle break out above this resistance so let's see and let's wait and see what's going to happen this candle still has uh, seven six five four three two and the candle has closed like that, meaning we can expect from the market to continue its bearish uh, momentum or its bearish reversal. So the whole idea is you need to look at, you, need just, you just need to zoom out and look at the chart like that, just like a lines without really any price action. Uh, don't tell me to use the, the line chart. It's not going to work at all. It's not gonna work. You still need to see the wicks and the tails on the ca of the candles. This one here doesn't really show it, as you can see. Therefore, it's very important to see the chart just to zoom out like that and look at this. As I said, this resistance level 
we are having resistance right here and a resistance right here this resistance has become here a new support and now after this bearish movement like that or after this bearish breakout this resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance now I will do the same exactly what which I did in the same in the previous trade I will set my take profit to be on 8 pips or 10 pips if possible let's make it 8 pips only like that and let's wait to see how can we earn profit from this trade uh, of course nothing guaranteed at all there is always the possibility that the trade can actually go in loss um, let me just be honest with you I'm using this uh, kind of trading since almost a year and it is working perfectly for me especially when I don't see any valid setups on the uh, 20 pips a day strategy or hit and run so I will just open the gold and I will just uh, be playing and trading uh, in the gold uh, the whole day it's actually somehow like a video game and I'm enjoying it so much uh, you can just keep making money all day if you are very sure of what you are doing and if you have a good experience in this strategy so we can see that the market is still reversing and let me maybe just now pause this video and show you once this when the scandal actually gonna hit the take profit level or actually no need that's what I love about gold it's moving very fast very quickly look at that the market is uh, almost hitting our take profit level okay uh, I think so far yeah almost eight pips and I'm gonna close this trade with profit it already hit actually the take profit level and finished this trade very good so as I said uh, don't try to be smarter than the market don't try to look for uh, buying on the res on the resistance since you are on the four hour chart still on the resistance zone here so you only have to look for the sell opportunities so um, how to pick your trades is actually based on the top of the of the peaks of that uh, reversals for example now in this uh, uh, in this example if I want to find any sell orders I'm gonna select this as my resistance because we can see that we're having here the top of this resistance line here and then this resistance is gonna be as I as, as I just said the new resistance you have another good setup to enter at the top of this resistance as well look at that this resistance right here the, and it was also here a resistance so you all you need to do is actually look at the spikes of these uh, attempts of the resistance all these spikes actually indicating a strength in the level and they will help you to find the, your best entry so for example if the market now is going to continue mo moving more up i'm gonna select uh, this resistance level here so this resistance gonna keep its position as a resistance right after this bearish breakout candle now sadly we cannot really uh, give more examples because the market as I said uh, is currently on a resistance level and it's gonna be a while before the market finally be on a support level however I will do so much more live trading videos using this style uh, it's very helpful and I think it's the time that we should uh, start using this strategy uh, in public however uh, please keep in mind this strategy uh, is very risky it's up to you to use uh, the lot sizes don't use big lot sizes at, at all the gold is moving very very fast faster than you can think and it's really important for you to be wise when you are using your lot size uh, personally on my live account when i'm trading on my live account um if i have for example uh, 500 dollars account on my live account five hundred dollars I will be actually using lot size of 0 0.15 no more than that because this uh, actually this is enough it's gonna give you really good profit if you have a five hundred dollars account don't use higher than that 0 0.2 is actually a lot when you are trading the gold always be wise be careful and don't use big slot big lot sizes again you only need to look at the spikes for example let's assume let's assume let's pretend pretend for once that we are going to place a buy orders here so what I will do here is I will look for the spike right here at the support level this support here 
and I'm gonna wait for this support after being here a resistance then we can see that we had a bullish breakout candle then I will wait for this support to again become a support and I'm gonna place my buy order right here please don't be greedy set your take profit level to be only 8 between 8 to 12 pips and no more than that if you set for example if you set here let me just show you example here um, for example if you place here if you see the support level and you are assuming that the support is gonna keep its position as a support and you set your take profit to be right on this resistance look what happened the market just uh, made a good bullish uh, reversal here and then kept falling down so you were in uh, 16 pips of profit but now you are down to almost 60 pips of loss please don't be greedy at all set your take profit to be only between 8 to 12 pips only no more than that don't be greedy at all and believe me this strategy is gonna be very uh, profitable and good for you again the last time I'm mentioning we need to look at the spikes of a resistance if we are looking for sell and we need to look for the spikes of uh, support if we are looking for buy don't uh, <coughs> sorry <clears throat> it's very important to select the highest support or resistance level for example I'm looking here we are having here two support attempts so where should I actually select my entry level or where should I select or uh, draw my support line to be safe don't draw it in between uh, the attempts like that draw it at the lowest possible level of this support like that so this is the lowest level of this support therefore we can see here if I zoom in let me just get rid of it okay if we can see that if I zoom in this is the one here the market has reversed exactly on this previous support and it uh, kept going up until hitting this previous resistance so that has given us 14 pips of profit sticking to this strategy rules is very important and very profitable however uh, no matter how uh, no matter how um, how much i'm explaining about this strategy the best thing to do is do some more live trades using that strategy and uh, this friday hopefully i will uh, publish another live trading using this strategy it will be very good and promising one i promise you actually uh, you will enjoy trading gold the whole day using this strategy so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching